His hand pulled on mine as he turned away. You said there were benches in here. Wait, I see them. I stared at the shadowy form of what I assumed was the back of his head. How in the world do you see those benches? You can't. Uh, no? Then I must have better eyesight than you. I think you're just saying you can see them. And we're probably a second away from tripping. Here they are. Hawk stopped. Unbelievably, he sat down as if he could perfectly see the seats. I was left staring, my mouth hanging open. Then I realized that it was quite possible he could see me gaping like a dying fish. So I closed my mouth. Maybe his eyesight was better than mine. Or my eyesight was poorer than I realized. Would you like to sit? I would. But unlike you, I can't see in the dark. (gasps) He tugged on my hand pulling me down. Before I knew it, I was sitting in his lap. His lap. Comfortable? I had no words. He was still holding my hand, and I was sitting in his lap. And all I could think about was that part in Willa Colin's journal, where she described being in a man's lap. There had been less clothing. You can't be comfortable. One of his arms folded around my upper back, pulling my side against his chest. There. That has to be much better. It was. And it wasn't. I don't want you getting too cold. His breath warm against my temple. He was so much taller, even sitting as straight as I was. My head still didn't reach his chin. I feel like that's an important part of my duty, as your personal royal guard. Is that what you're doing right now? Protecting me from the cold by pulling me into your lap? Exactly. I stared at what I thought might be his throat. This is incredibly inappropriate. More inappropriate than you reading a dirty journal? Yes. No. I can't even lie. This is inappropriate. Then why? His chin grazed the top of my head. Why? Because I wanted to. And what if I didn't want to? Oh, princess, I'm confident that if you didn't want me to do something, I'd be lying flat on my back with a dagger at my throat before I even took my next breath, even if you can't see an inch in front of you. Well? You have your dagger on you, don't you? I do. Knew it. No one can see us. No one is even aware that we're here. As far as anyone knows, you are in your room. This is still reckless for a multitude of reasons. If someone comes in here... I'd hear them before they did. Before I could voice that his hearing couldn't be as special as his sight, he added, And if someone did, they'd have no idea who we are. Is this why you led me out here to this place? To be inappropriate? And why would I do that? His hand touched my arm. Why? I think it's pretty obvious, Hawk. I'm sitting in your lap. I doubt that's how you normally hold innocent conversations with people. Very rarely is anything I do innocent, princess. Shocker. 